Uh, the event was amazing. Uh, it's definitely probably the most, I'd say the most prestigious event I've been to besides Evo. Uh, I, I'm not really used to kind of like having you know celebrities and everything running around literally doing whatever they want. So that was that was an interesting experience. Uh, had a lot of fun. Got to play a lot of games. Got to learn a lot. I think that was probably the the biggest benefit for me was. Uh, this event taught me a lot about about my play and how that play is effective long term and short term. Um, it made me realize the amount of mental stamina that was required for an event like this. Uh, overall, though, I think uh, I think that was probably the biggest takeaway from it uh, was that I was able to learn a lot about myself as a player. Um, and what I need going forward for things like this. Uh, because I know this won't be the last one. Uh, and I would hope it's not the last one I'm going to. So like, this is definitely, I think it was definitely good for me. And it was ran very well. Um, I had a lot of fun, uh, which is of course even the big thing. But uh, it, overall, I, I had a great time. Uh, definitely wouldn't trade it for anything. My, my favorite part was probably beating um, Cho uh, or Superboy, um, one of the Japan players, uh, to make it out of my pool for one of the last chance qualifiers. It was, uh, for a while, I had I had a couple of doubts in my play as far as, you know, being able to, to compete or still compete, you know, with my team, how I played the game, how I was just going forward. But beating him uh, kind of reconfirmed for me that I can still do this and that there's a lot left for me to still go forward. I think this is probably like, I think this is the third time I've beaten a Japanese player. Um, and for me, you know, it's, it's, it's a big thing to make you, because those are the, the prestigious players, you know, the ones that travel overseas, the, one that, the ones that always have, you know, the big prestige attached to them. And to know that I am good enough at what I do to compete with some of those players makes me feel like I, I can still do this. That what I'm doing is strong. What I'm doing is a, a good way to be playing this game. Um, and for me, it was, it was very reassuring. It was very confidence boosting and it was very, uh, very good. <laughs> you know, it was a very good feeling. You know, you, you can't take that away knowing that you beat one of the best, you know? So it's, uh, it was definitely my favorite part. I think this year was, was my biggest year. Um, it's not necessarily the beginning for me as a competitor, but as far as growth and progression, I feel like this year was was one of the biggest. Uh, this year, I had, I've had two top eights. Uh, uh, well, more more than two, but um, I think this is the year where I become a I became a notable or or top player, uh, one that's you know kind of known around around the United States or even the world. Uh, you know, a lot of people when they hear my name now, they recognize who I am. My play has improved. Uh, uh, and in general, I feel that I've become more of a threat as a competitor in multiple games just due to the sheer success I've had. Uh, I feel that I've learned a lot. Um, I've gotten out of bad habits that I used to have in my play. I think in, in 2018, uh, I had a lot of issues going forward with, say, confidence and being capable in what I do. Um, I had a lot. I had a lot of self doubt in 2018, uh, mainly with how I felt about how I played. Uh, a lot of times, I needed like reassurance that what I was doing was good or right. But I think in 2019, I'm kind of just willing to go forward with whatever. Uh, you know, I as long as I'm confident in myself and what I'm doing, I feel that what I'm doing is right. Uh, and it showed. It showed in the way I play. It showed in my results. And I feel that in general. It's it's a better it's a better thing for me uh, to know for myself that I can continue to go forward and be successful in what I'm doing. Uh, I think in, in general that's 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 great for me. I think it's really what I needed um, this year in general so far. Even as it was just you know 20 27 days, uh, it's definitely been more more fruitful for me. Uh, I've had, I think I've had a different mindset going into 2019 and. I think it's one that's gonna be gonna be fruitful, for sure. Uh, Louisiana, I think, in in general, has especially in terms of the FGC, has kind of has kind of raised me. You know, uh, I think they, they met me around when I was when I was 18, and ever since then they uh, 
they've all been kind of training me up. I've learned from literally everybody from, you know, the, uh, the, the anime players to the, the Street Fighter players to the Marvel players. Everyone's taught me a, a little bit of something in terms of fighting games. And I think that in general, all of them have made me a, a stronger player, no matter, no matter what game I played. Uh, and transitioning from them to esports now, uh, I feel like they, they've given me all the tools necessary to be good at what I'm doing. Uh, they've given me, you know, uh, insight, knowledge, uh, habits I should and shouldn't break, uh, things that I, I should and shouldn't do um, in and out of the game. Uh, in general, they've, they've all been, you know, mentors or big brothers and little sisters to me. Uh, big brothers and big sisters to me. Uh, they, they've all just, they, they've all taught me so much and, you know, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, it, it's definitely, you know, I feel it's been a, more of a mentorship thing because I was, I was so young then. And just being able to grow up for four years or three years around them, uh, it, it's a real surreal feeling uh, getting to know from, you know, where I was then to where I am now, it's it's a real big step. I know they're all proud of me and I wanna keep making them proud. So uh, for now, I think I'm just gonna keep moving one step at a time, even if those steps are kinda slow. Um, I definitely feel that uh, they're all proud of me and that I'm making the right steps and that I'm going forward smartly and correctly. I, I, definitely, uh, I definitely put my all into the first last chance qualifier and I think that's where I, where I made it the farthest. Uh, the first last chance qualifier I think everybody was kind of just like I want to win this one now so that I don't have to play anymore and I definitely think that's where I where I performed the strongest. Uh, I don't think I played badly throughout the tournament but I definitely felt that my play deteriorated from the first last chance qualifier compared to the other three. And I can say the same for a lot of other people that were playing. Uh, not everyone was on their A game after after the uh, the first slash chance qualifier. Even you know the top players, the ones who were winning the whole time, uh, you could definitely tell there was a there was a slight decline. Everybody was got a bit mentally exhausted after the first one. Some even physically exhausted. Uh, it was it was definitely a different tournament. Not one that I'm really used to. Um, it's definitely something you have to be mentally and physically prepared for. Because if you're not, uh, I think you can kind of just, you'll, you'll lose to yourself. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a tournament of endurance. And if, if you're not ready for it, then you're, you're kind of just gonna fall to the wayside. And nobody wants that. Uh, so being prepared inside, inside and outside of the game is especially important here because it's a long day. There's a lot of games played and everybody wants a spot, no matter who you are. Uh, and nobody came with the intention of losing or just learning. Everybody wanted to win. Everybody that came here was serious and wanted to be one of those four last chance qualifier participants. And it showed. Uh, everybody was ready. And overall, I think we all had a good tournament. And while I can't say it's my favorite format, I definitely think it was a lot of fun. Uh, and I would be interested in doing something like that again. But overall, it was a great learning experience. Uh, and it, it taught me a lot of things. Uh, and in general, it was, it was pretty good. I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, all right, cool.